Hello there, uh, this is Android TV Boxes. Very quick video, we're going to show you here how to uh, add on some shortcuts onto the main screen. Sometimes you find that uh, you've been using an add-on now for quite some time, or you're getting to enjoy some of the content. You, m you might not necessarily want to keep going to videos, add-ons, and uh, you know, finding the add-on that you particularly want to watch, or use as it were, and then opening it up. So, I'll show you a way around that. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with the main ribbon and we'll go to system skin settings. Now this is particular for our skin that we set. Um, obviously some of the steps are different to, to other skins. This is just for the skin that we we push. Um, if you have any questions about how to do this on other skins, please leave a, a comment in the uh, in, in the comment section. Um, add us on Facebook at uh, slash Android TV Boxes, B-O-X-E-S and uh, we'll see what we can do to help you. So uh, the first thing is we want to um, configure the actual home system itself. Now as you can see here menu item number four is listed as videos and uh, we're going to use a subset menu of videos. We want to configure an add-on set so we want a block of add-ons. So let's configure that. We'll select user selection one for the moment. If we go to add-on shortcuts this is user selection one. Let's rename this to be uh, common add-ons video, for example. Add-on one. We then go to video add-ons because we want to add a video add-on to this. Now I quite like using one channel, so we'll add one channel. Call it one channel. Video add-ons. And I'm always using mashup, so I'm going to add mashup. Now, another thing as well is sometimes it gets a bit annoying going into the favorites menu, so I'll add a favorite. And I particularly want Hacker Mill Stash, because he's always got some good content on there. So I'm going to save them like that. You'll see here that the uh, because we've made the change to the name, the add-on set's automatically changed as well. If we then come out of this by going to the home icon, scroll across, there they are. That's it. It's as simple as that. The, the XBMC skin system is so customizable that you can do anything you want to it. Within reason, of course. Um, certain things like changing colors and stuff are very difficult. Backgrounds are very easy to change. Uh, we'll soon be releasing... So it's to get me words out, put my teeth in. It's late at night. Um, we're soon to be releasing a plugin to change backgrounds for you um, through a, a common library. So you can basically select which background you want. In the meantime, feel free to ask a, com ask a question, leave a comment, like us on Facebook, order a box. If you have your own XBMC installation and you wish to use our working version, um, which we've customized and spent a long time on, again, add us on Facebook, contact us, we can sell you a copy, it's not a problem. All the best, take care.